it's a new day today. I'm here with my buddy Greg. What's up? Oh, you didn't give a thumbs up. No thumbs up this time. Every time, if you've ever watched a vlog that he's been in, except for actually the last one, because now he's making a conscious effort not to give you guys a thumbs up. Clearly, he doesn't give you guys a thumbs up anymore because he just doesn't think you guys deserve it. That's or not he true just at that's all. not true. That's not true. He just doesn't want to give a thumbs up. We're actually gonna go right now to go do some Black Friday shopping. Um, and I don't need clothes, I don't need electronics, so we're actually going to go to some gun stores where they're doing some parking lot sales and stuff for some ammo. Ammo out here is very expensive. And uh, I want to go take a shooting trip really soon, so might as well pick up some for, um, for a lot less expensive. For, for a better price. Yay. And maybe go look at some guns too and see what we do over there. So let's go for some Black Friday shopping. Just getting to our first location, which is LAX Range and Ammo, but we're not going to the range, we're just checking out the ammo. I can't really film in any of the gun places, of course, they don't allow that, so just in the outside and then um, we're going in right now. We did make some purchases. I end up not uh, buying uh, as much stuff as I wanted to just because they didn't have a lot of the, the brands I wanted as well as the quantity in the in the deal. So the only thing I picked up was I picked up a can of 308 cuz 308's pretty expensive and they were doing their discount for Black Friday. So it was worth it to me for me to pick up some 308. What did you pick up? I got some 40 caliber reloads and some 223. Sick. So now we're going to head over to the gun shop and actually go look at some guns at another location. We're back at my place now. Look who's here, yeah, Mr. Brandaloni. Brandaloni, that's. No, I'm not a loni. I brought, I brought the other. Oh, one. you brought, you brought the other one. Oh, oh, Harvey wants a little piece of it. Harvey wants a piece of you. Sorry. Harvey. Harvey, no. Yeah, get it, get it, no. get it. No. Full penetration. I did make a purchase that I want to show you guys that I thought was pretty cool. I don't own any 22 pistols or rifles, so I wanted to get my first 22 rifle. Here, hold this, Brandon. So I'll show you, I got myself a 1022 takedown, and the reason it is called the takedown is because I thought was pretty cool. You push a little lever here, and there goes the rifle. And you just take this right here, and you put it back in here, and back, good to go. 22 rifle, can't wait to try this baby out. So here's the bag, so the stock part goes into here. This tucks into here, tuck this over, lock this down. And this is the case that it comes in. This is the uh, Ruger bag, and super small. So it's actually a really cool way to um, to transport that. Most of the time, they come with like a plastic carrying case or some sort of. Or rifles actually typically come in like just a cardboard box. So it's awesome that Ruger makes it come with, with uh, or has it come with this bag. And then it's easy as just taking it out and twisting it and putting it together. So. I've never owned a 22, but I am excited to start using it because 22 long rifle ammo, as many of you know, is very, very affordable compared to all other ammo. I'm a big fan of Hogue, Hogue grips. They're pretty much, they're like rubberized grips. Is that not they're pretty much, that's exactly what they are, the rubberized grips. But I, I got one for the 22 because I saw it online. I thought that it'd be um, just a good, um, it's more solid feel than the uh, stock that it comes with. The 1022 comes with it. So I have this Hogue thumb hole stock here with the t it's still a takedown. This is for the front part. Here's the stock. And I also got a little Picatinny rail for the top of it up here, mounts, as well as a Bushnell TRS 25, uh, which was on sale. So I got that. Not an expensive scope or anything like that, just something to, uh, or not an expensive sight, just to put something on it that. You know, like a red dot, just to make it a little more fun. I like to, to sometimes make them a little bit more tactical. But it will be useful as well, and I think that'll be fun to shoot. I just want to put that stuff on it. Um, uh, make it more comfortable. Oh. Oh, I think we got it. But I need this screw all the way out. Why is it getting stuck? Okay, we got the barrel out. I dropped the action in and got this all assembled and tightened. Um, now, a lot of you guys may be telling me, may know that you should be torquing to a certain um, certain pounds per feet, for feet pounds, feet pounds. I think that's what it is. But when you're shooting a 22, 
doesn't have that much power at all. So you really just, I'm not gonna over tighten because I know no. that's a bad thing, but no. tighten it to a certain extent, did this. So now let's just lock back the bolt. And then let's see how this works. Oh and here God. is the brand new stock. And this, holy hell, this is really comfortable. Now, because this is a raised uh, cheek piece, that's why I needed to get um, a sight for it. So I'm gonna have to put on that Picatinny rail and the sight, but this is super comfortable and still very easy to take down. It is all complete Picatinny rail Bushnell TRS-25. It is super sick, don't worry, I'm not gonna aim this at you, I'm gonna aim it past you just so you can see, but I did just put it together, so. Looks cool. Very, very cool. Super comfortable to hold. And it is just a 22, but I like it, and I think that this is just an extra feature that's super awesome for storing it. Hopefully it still fits in that awesome Ruger bag, but this is um, my new um, Ruger 1022 takedown. Not only did I get the 1022 takedown, but I also got something a little bit bigger, a little bit on the other end of the spectrum. I got myself a 308. This is the Remington SPS Varmint chambered in 308 with a 26 inch barrel. But like the other one, I am gonna change it. Now I didn't only just get a different stock, I'm doing a complete rebuild and building a custom sniper, but in order to do this, I'm gonna need a pro to help me because I have never done this before, so I chose a pro who knows how to build custom snipers. And she goes by the name of Hannah. <laughs> You're gonna help I'm me. I'm the professional. You're the professional? Yes. You know how to build snipers? I do. You're gonna teach me how I'm to build snipers? Expert. Yeah. I'm gonna teach Alex everything he needs to know. Oh, about snipers. About snipers. Yeah. Okay, well. Other you, things too. You ready? Uh, oh. He has a lot to learn. I do have a lot to learn. But I'm not going to do that in this video. You will see that at tomorrow as a separate video. Hannah and I will be building a custom <laughs> sniper. I think this will be fun. You ready to build it? I'm ready. Let's build it. We just finished putting together the epic custom sniper. And you guys will see that tomorrow. I still got to edit the video. But I th did you enjoy making it? Oh my gosh, I had so much fun. Alex taught me so much. No, I, I didn't I didn't even know like I was learning too. So this was no, definitely a learning process. Did. I now I know some of the names of parts of the gun. Okay, yes, that's true. I could definitely do it again. I would have to use the instruction booklet, but I think I would be able to do it a lot faster. And I, I had lots so much fun. It's fun it was a lot of fun doing it. Was it cool? Did you enjoy it? I'm so tired. <laughs> you tired? I, it was it was really a lot of work. I actually had to take a nap in between. <laughs> I, I took a nap. We had to, we had to, well, because we had to recharge the batteries. It took a lot longer than expected. Obviously, the video won't be that long, but it was, it's going to be a lot of editing, three different cameras, and a long time for us to figure out certain things. But um, I'm excited to show you guys tomorrow for you guys to see the, uh, the gun. Okay guys, well, that's all I got for you for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. I'm excited to show you the video tomorrow and I am ready to go. Look at this, look at this, look at this man. This man dog. Sleeping. He's tired. He's so tired. It's pretty late. It's like two in the morning, 10 to two, something like that. But anyway, I had myself a fun day, and that's all. So, on that note, I will see you guys again soon. Goodbye. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, guess that I would uh, go to Are you enjoying it? Take the bus to <laughs> just after stuffing your face. Whoa, what are you doing? Whoa, what are you doing? Don't, don't we, we don't say anything first. <laughs> well, I have one to a hundred of them. We shouldn't say anything with a mouth. I sold it when I was 20. Mm. Okay. I'm just ready to eat.